guys, what's up? Reese here. This week's rock song of the week is Mother Don't Wanna Go to School Today, which is by Extreme off of their 1989 self-titled debut album. Now I could sit here and tell you about all the different parts of the song and tell you what I like and how they all fit together, but quite honestly, the one thing about this song that sets it apart for me from other 80s hair metal songs and the reason why I picked it today is all about the guitar playing. Especially when you think of 80s hair metal, there were a lot of really good guitarists. But there were only a select few that really kind of set themselves apart from the pack. Nuno Betancourt, the guitarist for Extreme, is one of those guys. He's an extremely technical guitarist. I think of him similar to kind of a Yingve Malmsteen, although he has less of a direct classical influence in most of his songs. But so this song starts out with a, a minute and a half solo by Nuno. And what you have first is just a lot of really fast note striking with a clean guitar sound. And then he hits the whammy bar and comes screeching in with distortion and basically replays a similar pattern, but this time it's with a ton of distortion. And he's got a great, it's one of those, it's got a really heavy guitar tone and it's just like dripping with distortion and just that raw rock energy. But yet it still sounds clean, like you can hear him hit every note, which I think is a really cool balance. And it can be hard, really hard to hit sometimes. So after this is done, he goes in the main part of the song. And what I like about his playing on this song is he really mixes a lot of different techniques. He'll do a lot of palm muting, which kind of gets you know more of a subdued sound. But then he'll hit open notes also, so you're kind of listening to this and it's kind of like you know it's going. And then he'll hit you with one of those open notes, and it's just such a cool contrast. He also is one of those players who uses a ton of pinch harmonics. But it's not like he overuses them, and this song is a great example of that also, where you can definitely hear them, but they're not the main focus of the song. There's a lot going on here, um, guitar-wise, and the whole song just sounds really great, but like I said, this is the part that I would really focus on when you check this song out. And also, if you're looking for other extreme songs where you can hear some more examples of the way he plays, I would check out Play With Me, which is also from their first album, and Decadence Dance, which comes from their second album. Thanks for checking this out, guys, and I'll see you next week.